So today we're going to be making this Vox style animation. Uh, if you need any of the project files or any assets used on this video, you can find them in my Discord server. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to new and add a adjustment layer, and I'm going to rename this to posterize time. And then I'm going to come over here and add the posterize time effect to this. And it's going to give us a start motion look that Vox always has. I'm going to set this to something like 12. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and bring in my image. So I'm going to be using this image here. I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And then I'm also going to bring in my overlay. If you want to find the exact assets I'm using, you can find it in my Discord server. So this overlay is a little bit big, so I'm just going to go ahead and scale it down. About right here. I'm also going to take this image and just readjust it a bit. Uh, make sure it's in the frame fully. I will probably have to mask it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to click the shape tool up here, make sure I'm on mask mode, and mask that out. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this. I bring this post size time to the top and then duplicate this frame. And I'm going to bring it all the way to the end over here just so we have more. And make sure it's lining up the other one just like that. Do a null object and this is going to be our controller for the entire scene. So I'm going to call this film controller. I'm going to set this to green so it's easy to see in the timeline. And next thing I'm going to do is parent all three of these to this uh, film controller right here. And then I'm going to start keyframing the position. So I'm going to come to the beginning here and I'm going to set the position here where I want it. I'm bringing that up I just so it gives us some time to get there and drag this over so we're starting over here at this spot. I'm going to center this up just a little bit more. Just like that. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is bring these closer and I'm just going to set a easy ease by hitting uh, I think it's F9 on the keyboard. I have a custom setup. So this is a little too far, so I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to come to the graph editor. Give this this kind of shape right here. This is what you see a lot in boxes videos, but kind of start slow and, and slow with that big bump in the middle. So I think it's looking pretty good. Let's play it back one more time. Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and add a new solid. And I'm going to do this gray color if you want the exact color code right here. I'm bringing this all the way to the bottom. So these other frames just look empty. And now we want to zoom into this image. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is grab everything except this adjustment layer and I'm going to recompose it and make sure you click this button right here. I'm going to call this film. And then I'm going to bring that image in one more time. So I'm going to go in this pre comp. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to rename this as well. I just call this fully and OK. Alright, I'm going to copy and paste this up from this pre-comp to the original pre-comp. Let's bring this over here so I can see it. I'm going to scroll this up so it's taking the full screen. Go ahead and get rid of this mask because we don't really need it. I'm going to scroll this up now. And we want to take up the full screen, kind of be in the center as well. So once we get to this frame here, we want to zoom in on it. So let's uh, take the scale property here and we're just going to scale in just a little bit. Not all the way, uh, just a little bit, just enough, just like that, looking pretty good. So then I'm going to set the scale on this as well to continue that momentum of us going in. So I'm just going to come in just a little bit. Then I'm going to take both of these, uh, turn them into easy ease, and then I'm going to come into the speed graph editor. On down with it, and I'm going to do something like this shape. I think should work out pretty good for us. Let's even take this sand a little bit more. So it's continuing the movement of okay, yeah, that looks like that. I do want to give this some more time though. Okay, and next thing I want to do is just to make this a little more seamless, I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur. And just put this on the film here and I start at zero, and then as we work up to this transition, we're going to go up to like, let's say, 20. We know it's a little too much. Uh, 20. So I'm going to continue that blur on this as well. Uh, so I'm just going to set a keyframe here at 20, and then I'm going to come down here and set it to zero. So now that should make it a little bit better uh, with this transition. Yep, I like the thing that's looking pretty good. I like that. I do want this to be a little bit quicker. And. I'm actually editing the right keyframe. I want this to be a little bit quicker than the scale, so I'm liking that. I'm going to add a lot, a lot more time to this scale as well. Come into the graph editor, make sure everything's looking good. 
Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now let's go into that text effect. Uh, so to do the text, I'm gonna block the text tool and just type in by Martin Luther King. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up so it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a little bit too big, but this should be good right about there. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this text over here. A little bit more so it's fully in. Uh, and next thing I want to do is take this rectangle tool and it's going to be a background for the text. So I'm going to set our stroke to be uh, zero and let's just set this fill to be a solid color. I'm actually going to turn the stroke off completely. I'm going to bring this behind this and I'm going to call this text to background. I'm going to resize this just a little bit so everything matches. I'm going to take this anchor point and move it over here because we will be changing the side of the size of this. That would be good to have it in that corner. And I think this is a pretty good size for it. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to bring this over here to match up with the text logo as well. All right, so the next thing we want to do is set this text as a track mat to this rectangle. So we want this rectangle. We want this text to only show when it's inside this rectangle. We'll see why in a minute. All right, so I'm going to change my modes and then set this track mat to be the text background. Okay, then I'm going to turn on the text background here so we can still see the text background. So now if we move this text, it should disappear when it's not inside that rectangle. All right, we're going to be keyframing the start. So I'm going to set this start like this and then bring this up. There we have a little words coming in. Now let's bring this a little later so we can see. We have everything coming in like that. Um, so to make this look more like Vox, we're going to come to advanced and we're going to do the uh, what it says based on characters. We're going to change it to be based on words. So now it's animating by words. So the next thing we're going to do is come back to this text background right here. And we're going to animate the size to come on as well. I say it kind of dots across the screen. So we want it to finish here. I'm going to come back and just set this to zero. Now you want to make sure you unlink these so we're only keyframing the Y position. So let's just redo that one more time. I'm going to set this to zero by typing it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is set these to easy ease and come in here and edit this graph. And once again, we'll just do that speed up graph and slow down graph. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now I want to come in here and offset this text from the I'm going to set easy ease to this and I'm going to offset this a little bit from the highlight or so but when it's about right there then we'll start coming on with it. I'm going to give us some more time here for both of these. It's not quite so fast. And I think that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to take both of these and pre-compose it. All right, so I'm going to hit Control shift c and I'm going to name this text and again make sure you have this selected. I'm going to come into this pre-comp and just move everything up the beginning of the layer we know how it's working. So next thing I'm going to do is select my pen tool and I'm going to change the shape uh, just to be something like 25 is good. And I'm just going to draw a highlight around uh, MLK here. So it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, just close enough is fine because uh, this stroke is pretty big so it's going to be a pretty forgiving outline. So I've drawn up my outline. Uh, first thing I'm going to do to this outline is add a glow effect to it. And then I'm going to set the blend mode to uh, something like overlay. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, you can also do multiply. Uh, it really just depends. Actually, in this particular case, I like multiply, so I'll probably keep it at that. Uh, next thing we're going to do to animate this is add a trim paths. The way we do this is going to be a little bit different than we did the other one. Uh, so I'm going to set the end first, and then I want to start at zero. And we want to also animate the start to be at 50%. It's going to give us only the top half. So if we put it back, it looks like this. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going to set the keyframes on this as well. Uh, we're not going to do the hump this time. We're just going to have it uh, start fast and, and end slow. I like that. I think it's uh, still a little bit too fast. So I'm just going to drag these out over here. And right, now I'm going to bring my text layer back in. And I'm going to uh, split the layer here doing Control Shift D and just delete this so we're at the edge. And I want these both to happen at the same time. I think it's pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to bring my adjustment layer up here so we make sure it's at the top. I'm going to rename this shape layer to be MLK 
Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is do that newspaper effect. So I'm going to go ahead and bring mine in now. So I've got my newspaper in and uh, well, this can be a real simple effect. Uh, we're just going to slide it in from the bottom. So let's go ahead and bring that up. And I want to really focus on this. So I'm just going to make mine a lot bigger. So it's easy to focus on this 2000 watch. And I think that's a pretty good position for it. I'm going to come in here and change my position property. and make sure I'm at a good spot in the timeline. And I want it to be here. And when it finishes, so I'm going to set this over here. I'm just going to come down with this right here. So it's just off the screen. And once again, we'll come in here, set this to easy ease and give it that speed bump on the graph. So the next thing we want to do is highlight this. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to take the pen tool and run a straight line through here and make this stroke a little bit bigger. So it's completely covering the words and adjust this line if you need to. I'm going to set this to multiply so it goes behind and then we're going to come here and once again add a chunk paths. And then on this chunk paths, we're going to do a little bit different this time as well. So we wanted to start at zero and come up to 100. And I'm going to give us a little bit more space. So as it's getting to 100 here, we also want to start animate the start keyframe and bring this all the way back to the end. So it just quickly pulls this through up to set all of these to easy ease and play this back. So that's pretty good. Uh, we just need to change the speed on this. So I'm going to zoom into the keyframes here, just clicking that icon on the graph editor. And I think something like this will look pretty good. So let's see what it looks like. Yep, I like that. I'm just going to bring these in some more so everything just goes a little bit faster. But other than that, it should be pretty good. So like these and bring them over. Yep, I like that. So uh, next thing we want to do is actually zoom into this as it highlights. So I'm going to take this and call this waterfall highlight. And I'm going to rename this to newspaper just so we're a little bit organized. And I'm going to parent this together. Looks like I did check mine, so make sure you do parent. And we'll be zooming in as this happens. So I'm going to set the scale here. Just collapse all the keyframes and then come into it. I also want to set a position. I'm just going to give us a little bit of space. Put the position here and then come here. Come up with it. I'm going to set all of these to easy ease. And I'm going to offset this a little bit so it's happening as we zoom in. I think it's pretty good. I'm just gonna speed this up by bringing them in as well so it's not so slow. And we could also come into this right here and change the values of this zoom in. But I'll just once again do that. Same kind of graph where it's fast, slow. Please. I think it's pretty good. Like that. I just need to add a little bit more time. It's pretty good to me. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully learn something from this uh, just to kind of get a grasp on the style and kind of an idea of the style. It's all very basic stuff. I could go into more depth if there's any specific animations you want to know how to recreate. I can go over that in more tutorials. Uh, if you like this video and you got something out of it, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, they're on the screen here.